Hi, and welcome to this edition of Solace Says, your insights into what's happening here at Solace. Today, we're going to be coming to you live from the floor of the World Air Traffic Management Congress in Madrid. I'm Wayne Osi, uh, Director of the Sales Engineers in the Americas. Uh, we're at the Global ATM Conference in Madrid. Uh, so this has been going on for a day. We're in the middle of the conference today. So, Wayne, how does the aviation industry benefit from what Solace brings to air traffic management? Well, Solace actually provides the backbone in the FAA SWIM infrastructure, so we're able to feed in a real-time fashion the airlines and other industries and ecosystems uh, that need the SWIM data, whether it's traffic flow, uh, position data on, on planes or weather. So, I keep hearing this mention of open SWIM from Solace. What is SWIM? Well, SWIM is sort of a, a central theme here at this conference. Uh, SWIM is basically just our normal Solace play in a way. I mean, it's taking point-to-point -point systems and making them pub sub at, at its minimum. Uh, but it's about getting flight data out to other constituents and other ecosystems. And what Solace does in SWIM in the U.S. is what all the other SWIMs around the world are just starting to try and do. So. The FAA has the implementation, it's actually working and it's using us. Uh, in other parts of the world, especially Europe, where we are, everybody in terms of countries are trying to get access to data and they're trying to figure out how to build these platforms and how to get some data. So what problem does Solus solve for air traffic management? Uh, Solus solves the backbone messaging uh, problem. Uh, for instance, in the FAA, uh, it was a matter of fanning out to a large number of consumers. So we're solving that problem, which was a, which was a critical problem. Uh, plus, we're reducing bandwidth usage based on compression as well. Uh, that's a specific problem, but we're also solving that problem further back in the infrastructure of uh, the FAA SWIM uh, to provide uh, faster throughput, uh, reduced throughput, and uh, real-time data to uh, all these consumers. I hear you've got this great demo at the show. What's the demo about? So the demo we show is to show the multi, the multi-cloud, multi-platform nature of of what we can support, we can supply. So being able to run on-prem and then in the cloud is something that our demo shows. So we basically take FA feed data real-time from the R&D feed in Atlantic City. We feed that into our Ottawa headquarters, and that's relayed out to Amazon and distributed out into other regions in Amazon, Azure and Google, and also back to an appliance in Ottawa. So it shows the multi-cloud, multi-instance nature of Solus and the WAN Federation, it's just natural. So Wayne, what's the buzz in Madrid this year? Well, the buzz is, uh, two buzzes really, I guess. Um, one is there, all of these countries in Europe, and not just in Europe, but other countries um, in Asia, all over the world really, are trying to replicate what the FAA has done with SWIM. So they're all trying to figure out how do they build this foundational SWIM system. And every country, of course, is very unique. It has their own requirements. So they're trying to figure out how to build those platforms. That's one. Uh, the other is access to data. So us being able to deliver the data is a good foundational element, but there's a lot of political and legal reasons and financial reasons why it's hard to get data in Europe and in other countries. Whereas in the U.S., this data is freely available because of this, the government structure of FAA. So, what question have you been asked most this year in Madrid? Uh, you know, there was an S3 outage recently in Amazon, and everybody knows this here. Uh, they are very much aware that that is a very weak point in a single cloud. So a lot of people have been worried about, well, how do we work in the case of this three outage for six hours, let's say. Uh, so that's resonated pretty well with people, especially now. Just good timing, I guess, in a way. Um, but they're all trying to look at how they can operate and, and build an infrastructure. Uh, and these days, whenever infrastructure comes up, it's, it's cloud, right? It's, it's, it's always a component. So multi-cloud is, is definitely a, a, big, a big part of it. What have you been surprised to learn this year at the show? Yeah, there was a really cool parade that came by yesterday. <laughs> it was never completely unexpected. Today we, we had uh, the chief scientist for NextGen here, um, which is fantastic. Uh, it's, at, it's at a level beyond FAA itself. 
Uh, so SWIM, which we are involved in, is only one small piece of all of NextGen. So we're talking to them and we're trying to see how we can innovate and provide our aid to help them figure out architectures and solutions in, in a NextGen fashion. Thanks for bringing us the news from Madrid and air traffic management. And with that, we'll see you next time here on Solace Says.